Okay. Go ahead. This is our new X1 carbon. And I've got it positioned here next to the predecessor, our previous Gen X1 carbon, and you can see the difference in terms of size. Uh, we've lost uh, about two millimeters from the touch version of the predecessor to the new uh, version of the X1 carbon. These are both touch displays. Uh, utilizing the same uh, magnesium and carbon fiber construction that we used on the predecessor. I want to open it up here and show you our new display option, which is a WQHD display, so 2560 by 1440. But what is kind of really unique when we look at the new version of the X1 Carbon is the way you interact with the device. Um, so we now have an adaptive keyboard which includes this adaptive function row. And this row changes based on the type of content we have open. So this is our home or default row um, which includes Windows search functions and direct uh, shortcut keys to applications. If I come in here and open an internet browser, I'm going to get last page, refresh, new tab, and the snippet tool. Again, if I come back and let's open a VoIP program like Skype, I'm going to get direct access to VoIP controls. So I've got microphone here. I've got my microphone uh, adjustment here for the number of people I've got, whether I've got a crowd in front of the PC or just me, uh, and camera controls. And you can always press this function key on the side and toggle through uh, any of those four rows. So now I have F1 to F12, my traditional function row available as well. It's also aware of the physical state of the product. So if I lay the product flat, I get direct access to screen rotation. So if I'm sharing across a, a table with someone, I can quickly direct access to rotate the screen around so I can still share my content um, with the people who are sitting across from me. Nice. I'm going to bring it back up here and we'll go back to the correct screen orientation. Uh, does utilize our new trackpad uh, interface, which we've seen on the rest of our ThinkPad line here. About 20% larger uh, than the existing uh, trackpad surface uh, on the predecessor. And then a guide around on the ports here, a new port on the side of the device is our one link port. Um, and we actually have a one link pro dock that now goes along with this device. Um, so this is power and uh, native video and data uh, coming to the one link pro dock. Uh, so we now have dual video capability here in addition to six USBs, four USB threes and two USB twos. Um, so that really allows you to set up a great desktop workstation. Um, addition, we now have a new uh, full-size HDMI port here, so for easy connectivity to consumer uh, televisions and other devices. Mini display port, uh, one USB 3 with charging on this side. You get your second USB uh, 3 on the other side, and then this uh, is a uh, attachment for a dongle to give you native RJ45 Ethernet connectivity. Okay. Um, so then that allows you to have a hardwired Ethernet connection without clogging up one of those USB ports. Again, just running through the uh, basic spec changes here starting at 2.8 pounds, uh, starting at 17.7 millimeters, um, and now with a mobile mark battery life of n up to nine hours. Okay. Uh, processor, are you guys, of course, running the latest? Uh, uh, Late well? Yeah, latest fourth generation Haswell processors. This, this can be configured with Core i5 and i7. Okay. Uh, and it has either four or eight gigs of RAM and up to a 512 SSD. Oh, oh, nice. It's pretty cool. And of course, if just to really sweet, it is a touch screen, guys, even though we didn't necessarily mention it. it was oh, yeah. He was touching the screen. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I was touching the screen. So, yeah, there are touch and non touch options on this. Okay. Uh, but, yeah, with a touch option, there's a 10 finger touch, touch option yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. QHD display. Very nice. And this uh, starting price at $12.99 and available uh, now. All right, there you have it, guys. This is the 24 thing. Uh, think that X1 carbon.